G'day, today we're going to have a look at the Mini Motorways level of Manila and see if we can crack that 2000 mark. Um, so I've had a few goes of this one and um, yeah, it does. Oh, I've, I think I haven't scored less than 1600 in it, so it doesn't seem like it's too bad. Um, it's just sort of uh, a little bit of luck, a little bit of strategy, I think that's let me down so far. Um, now one thing to do with luck that's, that I find quite good is this position of starting. I have had um, games where you start with this part of the river up here is actually the central point of your starting position and I think that's a little bit trickier. This is probably the best spot you're going to get for the most on one side of a river um, land and um, that is definitely something that's going to make this uh, life a lot easier. Cool. Now I think that um, these starting off guys might get isolated from uh, from everyone else that, that they can connect to so what we hope is that there's just enough space that they can get four to six houses if they're only going to have the one factory to go for uh, four. four to six houses is my uh, my estimation of how many you need to have an efficiently running warehouse uh, to reach 2000 four would be it, it might survive six would be it should be should comfortably survive really interesting to get a double that early. That's not something I see overly often. All right. As soon as motorways come in, we want to we're going to be taking motorways uh, every chance we get. Uh, but before then, uh, it'll be bridges. I reckon five bridges would be uh, be handy for this one. It's quite possible this guy's line here won't last forever, depending on if we get the yellow down here or anyone else that needs to cut through here. Particularly if he only stays as one one building. Uh, but the fact that he is on this side of that factory makes him a little little bit use useful to reduce the congestion at this point here. Which is definitely one thing that we you want to try and uh, try and do if you can is um, have separated um, or have um, population centers on opposite sides or sort of not all flowing to the same direction to get to all their warehouses if you can have them so that they're um they're going opposite ways so even if for example you had like a, an exit on this side going to there and then on the on this side we have this really long road that comes down to there basically it means that half the traffic is going to head south out of the town the other half is going to head north and um and that just means that these guys aren't crossing over and um and causing each other problems okay because we've got the yellow in here um we're gonna i'm gonna play with the roundabout as an option um, because we're going to need yellow to sort of operate both this way and that way uh, and it looks like we're going to need these guys to uh, come across and join that too. Now this could definitely get very messy in late game, very messy. So what we'll do first is we will um, Disconnect. Actually, I don't even think we need to. What we'll do is we'll leave that like that. On the off chance that I miss something and blue does have to travel through the map uh, to get to anything, because at this stage, there's no reason that red or yellow should travel further out than here. Um, if there does end up being something here, I think we would reevaluate our layout. Uh, but I mean, these guys can also come out this way. But I think the main thing that we want to try and avoid is if we can, we don't want to force everyone to have to go through this intersection if they don't have to. Um, because sometimes it seems really nice and efficient to have everyone go through a roundabout, but potentially you're just forcing more guys through a roundabout just because it seems like it's going to be more efficient. It actually does result in a lot of um, congestion towards the end of the game. Cool. So what we do really want is more houses here. And like I said, if we get five, especially with how close these guys are to this, if I got two more houses in this area, I would cut these guys off that roundabout. I would leave this warehouse to these guys, and these guys' sole job would be this. In fact, I'll be willing to do it with even just four houses on there. So let's see someone show up here and, uh, and make our uh, end game life a lot easier.
it's another note as well while, while nothing's happening. Um, I've, I've had a few uh, people feedback that they find it hard to hear me uh, when, when doing the video, so I have tried upping the sound uh, for this video of my, uh, my microphone. Um, so let me know if this is any better, um, or if it's still too quiet and needs to be up some more, or if you have no issues with it and, um, and uh, it's now too loud. Um, yeah, anything at all, let me know. If, um, whatever, whatever makes it easiest to to hear my uh, my rambling. Okay, so we'll shift those guys around that way and allow this guy to connect directly to um, this. We will just sort of split that out a little bit more too. Now again, this is what I'm talking about. That's not great. Um, population center at one far end having to, to go past one to get to the other. Um, not ideal, but uh, we don't have too much choice at this point. That's a nice little, we're gonna pause for a second there. These are the ones where I recommend pausing, is where you've only got one gap, but if a house shows up here, you lose your uh, your nice little easy connection. Um, so we definitely wanna avoid that with that guy, because that's nice. Um, what could possibly end up happening in, in end game is that I put a um, uh, my motorway at this top end of these guys, and um, and let them travel down um, to avoid this having to be used and sort of separate out this bottleneck. Um, now I think that at this point that guy is just one the argument for having my first motorway, um, and you can see here as well that, that strategy in place. Um, this guy's on this end of my houses, that guy's on that end, so um, hopefully it's going to sort of split the um, split the, the workforce so they're not actually intersecting each other to get to those two positions. Now we'll... Ooh, we're out of bridges. And that's a pain, because I don't want these guys to have to force themselves past him. Alright. Uh, what we will do for the time being is we're just going to use that to address that. Now this is an easy fix with a bridge, um, so at this stage possibly my preference would be a bridge over a motorway, um, just for the extra tiles, but it's also good to know that in the future, actually if I ever get a new motorways outfit, I probably still will take them, but it means if I do get a bridge, um, essentially I'll get a motorway back because I can reclaim this because that can certainly be done uh, with a bridge. Just as long as I don't take out my uh, my key spot, so I'm just gonna actually no, that, that'll be my key spot there anyway. Now this is seven houses to take care of these, and that is a circular one, so he's um, gonna need some priority. Um, it'll depend on how many uh, friends this guy ends up with, as whether I um I want to put him. Uh, sort of travelling further across this way. Alright, so we'll take the motorway. away. Because if this became a circular warehouse, I think that that would be the motivator that I would um, send a, um, a motorway straight across to address him. But as long as he isn't, um, I think that this is okay. Particularly because no one else is messing with, with these guys' line. It's a very casual, very, we're only at 400 at the moment, so it's also a very slow, sort of moving uh, connection. Now, this guy is, is set. That's some nice, good news. Uh, the the potential here though is that we're going to get a big population and then what we can do is, is travel some of these guys down to address be this guy I suppose. Now again I have no um, I have no bridges but what we can do is how many tiles do I have? 20. Make that guy face straight. Can also consider letting that guy cross the um, 
across the road if need be. Um, I mean, but you can see there's so many of these cars are still parked that is, that is really not needed. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll replace this, or we'll wait for that to disappear, because that's one thing you can't build on, on top of where a motorway was um, for some odd reason. So we will just join that there. And we will. There's no way that we can really separate these guys out so that they're. They're traveling two different directions to get to this, uh, to get to these two. I mean, I suppose we've already got these guys heading this way to get to, to that one. Now that's just the river down there, but I don't have a, um, actually what we can do, let's see if we can run these guys around this population, which wouldn't be too bad. Uh, the biggest problem with it would be, um, actually, solution that we'll do is we'll we'll grant these guys one of my two motorways and then these guys what we'll do is we will connect them up here and we'll connect him there too so that these guys can sort of hopefully get to that um, reduce the congestion It does mean that these five, I've sort of set it so that these five are dealing with these two, and these four are dealing with this this one. Um, I mean, obviously they are connected so they can sort of shift across if need be. Um, but I can shift this guy back that side if I think that, that that's going to be more useful. Okay, we'll pause it for a second because there are definitely single squares that could derail this, um, this being built. And we're going to re limit the amount of squares we take up around these guys because we do want them to have as many tiles as possible. Okay, now this guy, I suppose you can just sneak through like that. We'll connect this guy to the top end here. So I really don't like the layout that these guys are getting. Um, ideally what I'd like is a, a new population center for these guys that was up here, or even, yeah, up here. I mean, I could, could sort of sort that guy out. Um, basically anywhere where um, uh, we've got the motorways available. Oh, we should probably uh, give these guys a few of these. Apologies anyone that's just been staring at greenhouses that I haven't been connecting. Now this yellow guy here I could take the effort to connect up here, but I, I don't, don't think he's needed. This guy probably will be needed. I don't know how long he's been waiting without a connection. I think he can come the other way. There we go. Okay, so that was one thing I said. If this guy became bigger, we would offer him a motorway. need those guys maybe a little bit more than that that house there since all of these guys are parked and no one's doing anything and we can see that there is a little bit of a backlog here now this has just sort of made this a much more um, significant problem because we need someone to uh, to address this guy. How many houses have we got? We've got seven houses here but of those seven houses only um, they're, they're looking after three three guys so what we'll do is because we can't really take advantage of this uh, this connector here because um, it would get in in blues way or what we could do um, let's think. We can't go any lower with these guys. We could shift blue. If we, uh, we could put the highway to connect here, but then is that going to cause more headaches for, for these guys? I think it's just purely the numbers coming in at this stage. So we'll just allow these guys just to go into the roundabout. Because um, there's not too many guys using the roundabout at the moment. 
these guys don't really have to do anything at this stage if these um, three houses are doing their, their job. Oh, I didn't even notice this guy come up. Okay. Buh, buh, buh. What are we going to do with him? Is there any of these that is just a luxury at this point? I think the answer is yes. It's this guy. So let's... um. Let's just connect him there. And we'll let the green guys go take care of that guy at the top. Let this guy back on. Now because still no one else is, is in this path. Just the problem is that the way that this game works is as a, as a dot comes up here, that sends an announcement to a guy to leave home. So with the distance these guys are traveling, they're traveling a lot, it's a lot of notice that these guys need before they leave home, before one of these come up. And uh, you can see that we're, I think, in a slowly losing battle. Um, getting those now, there's nothing I can really do with this red guy here. So many of these red guys are home, so that hopefully shouldn't be a problem for anyone. Lovely. Alright, so let's see if we can address this, this losing battle. It's quite a clean setup we've got at the moment. Uh, let's just do a quick check to make sure that we've got uh, everyone connected who can be. We'll get him just disconnected from that. All these green guys, these yellow guys, these two yellow guys here, we could. Um, do I have a bridge? I don't. So we'll just have them talk to each other for now. If we luck out and don't... No, luck out's a good thing, isn't it? If we luck out and get a motorway, we'll take that. But if we don't... Um... Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put this here. Going to shift these guys down. And they can look after that and then that means that we can disconnect these guys and he can have that job with his mate. And their other friend. And that guy. Now, get him off that road. Uh, we will rebuild this road, just to move away from these three guys. Um, and we'll put these three guys sort of pointing that way, so that no one can sort of split them up. So I can still use that road around the edge. I think they could still put a house on them. They do sometimes do that to driveways, so they just sort of dump on the on that point. But what I can do with these three guys is if I get a bridge, if I don't get a motorway and I get a bridge, I can build that a road through here to connect these guys to the back side of this. And then I can potentially cut these guys off. <sighs> Alright, we'll take the motorway. Um, and basically we'll just do the same thing. So we'll build a little connection there. And these guys can just come chip in over there. Again, what the point of this is, is it's stopping these four houses here from being used, which is reducing the amount of stress on this roundabout. The fewer cars that have to travel through here, uh, the better. Even though there are obviously yellows that have to go over here. Just double check to make sure everyone's currently present and accounted for. This guy I can't do anything with. Connect this guy because he's in quite a nice position. Cool, finally this guy got a friend. Red definitely is looking a little bit shaky at the moment. But I'm not sure, and you can see this is starting to, to jam a bit. Um, the only real foreseeable fix I can see for this would be another motorway. Okay, now I do get my motorway because what I can do is go get rid of six. I've got to wait for that uh, to 
disappear. And connect these guys here. Just keep an eye on this, we'll pause it the second this disappears. Because you can see they've done a really good job of clearing that up too. Okay, um, we'll add him there as well because this has gone yellow. Um, sorry, gone circular, it was always yellow. Um, and what we can do is we can shift this guy like that. We can break that. And... Let's look at our population centers for our reds. These guys are all currently being used. Um, let's, let's really try and, and clean this up a bit. So this guy can't go anywhere. He's blocking this guy out from being able to join this, this group of four. This is only a four square one, so in theory these four guys would actually be better off looking after that. And then these guys I could bring all the way over here, but the commute for those guys would it almost would be worth four guys um, doing it instead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my new one, because this is a really important thing. When you move a motorway, it has to have everyone disappear off it before it will actually action anything with it. So what that means is if I deleted this four, all these guys would have to be home. And you can see currently there's only one car here. They all have to be home before they'll move again. Whereas if I build a new motorway, that motorway is already there and I can now say get rid of four. So what you'll see happen is that all of these guys can start their new trips while that one still exists. Now what this means as well is that we can clear out all of... No, oh, I forgot to do the next part of this. Phase two of this plan uh, was... We now in theory phase two we actually don't even have to put these guys in here. We will as our um, as our placeholder option for for addressing uh, this. But I'd say these guys up here could probably take care of that and that. But what we'll do is we'll use our population hub up here to take care of this guy. And actually, I'm going to change my mind on that near immediately because this guy's getting in trouble. And what can we do? Why is he having such a hard time? And I think that the obvious answer is that we could use all of these guys here. Um, actually, let's send them this way. Um, we could use this guy here to go up there. Now again, this is where this is a, a problem. I can't use this because what will happen is that will overflow and die before I get it moved over here. So what I have to do is use this number four again and tell these guys to go to there, uh, to there, because I've, I've now built that. So we have to wait for these guys to stop travelling. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Red's also looking a bit bad here, but I can't get rid of that house to... Okay, so those guys are now on the move. Now what that means is that I can now say, thank you, Highway 1. You can now shift over here. Highway 1 does not need that. Um, Highway 1 is looking great. So, um, this is actually more just blue that, that is the problem. But it's alright. What it means is all these guys can now go and address, address the problems of the world on this side, and they're all squares, so hopefully uh, that's a little bit better. Now what we can do on this side is we will go one, two, three, four, five. You face that way to him. They're slightly closer actually, so I'll give him that one. So we'll see if this can, can separate out these guys a little bit more to try and clean up what they're doing. But there we are, 2,000. Um, which is quite nice. Uh, this guy's done. Let's see how long we can last. Definitely this is a uh, this is a problem. Now when you do make a major change you will notice that your cars suddenly do a shift in, in where they're looking after. Um, so when you make a major change to a road or to a highway, potentially a whole flux of cars will go somewhere uh, and then you can experience a bit more of a of trouble. Now I would love to get rid of this road to discourage these road guys from going through this roundabout, and I will actually. Let's get rid of that. Now the gamble here is I'm now saying that these 
this is going to be managed by these four houses. Um, what colour is that guy? Does I have a bridge? No. But he's one car. Can I connect him? So that one guy can go and, and sort of join their, their cause, and actually so can this guy. So there's now six that can look after that. So we're going to get rid of these guys to reduce congestion. We're also then going to get rid of this road to say to these guys, no, you just worry about that. The attempt, the attempt is basically that we're reducing congestion because you can just see all the, the mess that's currently going on as people correct the, uh, the bad positions they found themselves in. So hopefully as, as we sort of, these roads just become a smoother movement between fewer cars, I guess these two guys have the luxury to pick where they want to go. Um, okay, what we will do is we will try and take any car, any one that we've got. Now these guys actually aren't going anywhere at the moment. So what we're going to do is we will reclaim their road as well, take them out of that mix, and we'll tell these guys to go up here as well. So there. One, two, three, four guys up here. That's now five, six. So there's six to this, five to this. Uh, the name of the game is efficiency. And you can see how much even just having less houses on these roads is actually making them a little bit more efficient. I want to move that guy off that at that directly just to try and like make him less of a hassle for everyone else. But we are looking very good at the moment. I don't want to jinx it as well but we're an outside chance for the, the nine motorways if we can survive two more weeks and we get lucky with our motorway options. Now this guy is definitely the, the struggler at the moment, so what we'll do is we'll give him... What are you connected to? Nothing. We'll give this guy to him, and I mean... What were you connected to? This road? Have you been making this long journey this whole time? Jeez. Alright. Cool. Alright, so there's motorway number 8. And let's just have a look to see if anyone does need, need any attention. What we'll do is we'll make that connection. The problem is I don't want that guy connected. I hope I don't think he is in that layout there. Because I don't want him taking advantage of that that and trying to get the green through it. So we're just gonna keep him separated. Keep an eye on this guy. Get that guy connected to the right spot. Now, how are these dudes looking? You're connected to the wrong thing. What I'm going to do is give these guys the option to um, to travel up north as well. Whoops. I don't think they necessarily need it. It's definitely going to be my uh, my reusable highway. But we can cross our fingers that we get a motorway this time. Ah, got to survive two more weeks. I've already got a roundabout just sitting there, but I don't. I still don't think I'm going to use traffic lights at all. Should get this guy connected. Bridges actually would, would sort of come in handy a tiny bit, a tiny bit. So the real name of the game here is almost that every single, um, every single 
factory is using its own road. Now the big exception there is dark blue and what's going on up here. Now these guys are slightly separated, uh, but beyond that these two are still sharing the same road. Now luckily, I suppose actually I've given these guys that access. Luckily neither of them have gone uh, to circles. There we go, 4,000. Doing very well here. Ah. Oh. Just being mean now, give us the uh oh. use the bridge to get that guy there. Just because I'm this is a, a circular one, so we'll just give him that one extra hand. Now these are definitely coming thick and fast now. This red guy here it looks like he could possibly be the concern. Basically, what I'm mainly rooting for here, I'd say, is that we can uh, we actually get to uh, nine motorways. <laughs> that's my that's the, that's the one achievement that I've wondered how do you how do you do it um, without sort of lasting to this sort of ridiculously long. Now, hopefully, this guy doesn't sink me sooner than um, sooner than another Sunday. Let's see if I can be be lucky enough to get it. And it looks like at least I'm, I'm gonna be okay that far. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look at our bridge options. Is there anything that we can use a bridge to do? Houses here, we could send. Yeah, all right. No, those yellow houses. Their job is to look after this guy, isn't it? Well, that guy's not connected to anything, is he? So many. Like, I mean, I could connect him. No, nah, let's let's leave him where he is, and uh, we'll just let this guy join down there. Green is starting to have to work overtime down here too. Oh, and I noticed that that has gone uh, circular. So we are now really starting to see that that speed pick up. Um, again, just rooting for that Sunday. That red guy here is, is starting to look bad. Now the problem is that no, there's no real problem with that. Sunday day, we hit 5,000, that's quite nice. Sunday night. There it is, alright, cool. Wow, we have a lot of road at the moment. Okay, so before we do anything else, let's get let's get that milestone in there. Um, so what I will do is I'm going to use... Uh, who's not being used? I think these guys over here. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll put this guy on that. And then we'll swing them to that roundabout. And there we go, the achievement for for nine highways. Definitely not my recommended strategy of, of all you've got to do is simply get to 5,000 and then and then it'll just come naturally. Um, hopefully if you can just play a level like LA and then just try and cram them in as quick as possible. Now this road here is starting to look awful. And I don't know why there's so many red guys on this road. Um, let's kill that. Did I kill that highway? I didn't mean to. That is definitely going to make life a little problematic for a moment. These guys are coming all the way around. That's what they're doing. Wow. Well, there we go. Um, that's, a, that's a pretty healthy score. And that's how you do Manila. Uh, any questions or comments, feel free to check them below. Until next time, catch you later.